Here's your Pinpoint Weather 12 forecast. Good morning, everybody. It was another chilly and frosty start to your day. Everybody dropped down into the 20s overnight last night, but we're climbing back up into the 30s, and later on this afternoon, it'll still be seasonable with those highs getting back into the low to mid 50s. A big change is on the way for this week, though. If we take a look outside right now, lots of sunshine across our area. A couple of clouds were just along the coast this morning that helped to lead to a really nice sunrise earlier at around 6:30. Now that we're seeing that earlier sunrise. Sunset later this evening. That's going to be 4:30 in the afternoon or in the evening. Uh, threat tracker for today, tonight, and tomorrow. We are in the green. We see high pressure continuing to settle over the region for the next couple of days. Our next chance for rain that isn't until about Friday afternoon. So a very quiet and almost comfortable week ahead. We're going to see those high temperatures back up into the 60s. A little bit of a warm up on the way as soon as tomorrow afternoon. Satellite and radar, like I said, a couple of clouds just kind of along the coast, but really no rain or anything like that. Just a nice quiet Sunday morning. If we take a wider look out, you can see low pressure. Pressure still camped out just off the South Carolina coast. That could impact the uh, Patriots game later on today. They could see a little bit of some cloud coverage and some showers for the Patriots game. But overall, here back home, this low pressure is going to stay to the south. We're not going to see any rain from this system, but a couple of clouds are going to move into our area overnight tonight. That'll lead to a little bit of some warmer temperatures later on. And temperatures as of right now, 36 for Smithfield, 35 for Westerly, as well as for Providence. Newport sitting at 42 degrees. Block Island, they've been in the 40s pretty much all morning. Right now, they're looking at 41 degrees. Later this afternoon, lots of sunshine on the way. You're going to see those temperatures back up into the low to mid 50s. So right where we're supposed to be for this time of year. It's going to be a beautiful afternoon out there. Nice light breeze, lots of sunshine. Again, those rain chances not expected for the rest of today and even pretty much the rest of the week. Daytime high of 54 degrees in Providence. Just a really beautiful afternoon. If we check out that hour by hour forecast, high pressure continues to hang out for the bulk of today, but by later on this evening, it will be pushing further off to the east. As that high pressure continues to move further away from our area, that'll make way for this low pressure to pick up just slightly to the north. Now, it's going to stay well away from our area and then gradually kick further off to the east, but before it does so, it is going to cause a couple of those clouds to move in overnight tonight. By tomorrow morning, though, already seeing clear skies and lots of sunshine on the way. If you wanted to head out towards the bay later on this afternoon, it's going to be nice out there. A couple of scattered clouds, but plenty of sunshine. That nice light wind, first out of the northeast and then changing to the southeast at 5 to 10 knots. Waves less than one foot. Visibility going to be great out there. High tide later on this morning, right around 9.15. Low tide later this afternoon, just after about 3 o'clock. So just a really quiet, beautiful day out there. Seven-day forecast. Check out those high temperatures. By tomorrow, we're going to be in the upper 50s, pushing near 60 for a couple of spots. Tuesday, into the 60s, low to mid 60s for your Tuesday afternoon. Lots of sunshine out there. Thursday, Veterans Day, it's going to be a beautiful day. Lots of sunshine out there. A couple of scattered clouds for the second half of the day. Also slightly cooler, back into the 50s. By Friday, that's our chance for rain. A couple of scattered showers clear by next weekend. You can head over to WPRI.com. We've got that seven day forecast over there. You guys can check it out anytime you want to take a second look at things.